these units for lab applications using anywhere from you know, just a small amount of outside air to 100% outside air. This unit is built for approximately 70 to 100% outside air and approximately nothing to 30% return air through the return air opening here. Uh, I'm going to take you through the machine in order of airflow. This is the outside air hood. This is the hood we developed just for Dow. Uh, on the bottom is just a bird screen. So there's nothing to get clogged. And the actual air comes in here in a vertical. So even in a blinding rain, we are not going to pull any water into the machine. Okay, it comes up into the cabinet and then enters through here. And this is the mix box section. Come around back behind over here, Ryan. Okay? Where we have a set of closed uh, airfoil, low leak dampers. These are a closed blade, so they work real well. And then I'll get out of the way here. This is the outside air louver. So this louver is a special louver to eliminate all of the moisture. We were having problems with wetting the filters, and with this, this actual moisture eliminator or outside air louver, just like you would have in a big architectural grill, this eliminates any of the moisture from coming into the cabinet. This will be our mix box section, where we, we normally just set a manual amount of return in fresh air. So this would be a manual versus a motorized damper. You can see that the, that the cabinetry is all double wall, and it is, uh, it's actually uh, double walls galvanized on the inside, and then on the outside the cabinet tree is galvanized, then powder coated, then top coated with an acrylic finish on top of the fasteners and everything to prevent rust and give us the best possible uh, duration of the cabinet. On top, the, uh, the roof panels are all secleted together with an overhang so that there's no seams for water to drip into in the unit. From the mix box, we go into an angle filter. We typically use like just a uh, two inch pleated filter in here. And we use the angle filter so we get as much square footage of filter surface as possible. So we don't have to change the filters as often and we have a lower filter pressure drop. This is the coil section. We're gonna go around to the other side and uh, I can actually show you the coil section from the entering air side and the, from the side so you can see how it's built. Going in through a, a preheat steam distributing coil. So it's a 5 h tube, the steam distributing coil. And that coil is built with standard galvanized tube seats and standard aluminum fin. Nothing special, we've never had a corrosion problem with those types of coils. Okay, this, the steam coil is right here. After we leave the steam coil, instead of butting the two coils up right together, we put in a, a coil spacer. So it provides a six inch gap between the two coils with access hatches so that if you have to clean the coil, you can spray into it from the filter section and into it from the coil section and still access the drain pan so you can clean the coils more easily. This is the chilled water coil, the 5 8 coil, and it is uh, eight row thick. So we designed the unit to take 100% outside air from 98 dry bulb, 82 wet bulb, and then cool it down to 53 degrees F to for, provide any into the lab. You can see here in the center, we have an intermediate drain pan. This coil casing is stainless. This coil spacer is stainless. The supports that hold the coil up is stainless. The drain pan is stainless and all the fasteners are 304 or 18-8 stainless steel. So it's really built for long, long uh, durability. Okay. Next, is, next and last is the fan cabinet. But if you come over and shoot over this way, Ryan, they can see the blue tinge in the coil. And what the blue tinge is is that that's pre-coated uh, fin stock. So that's what we call a hydrophilic fin stock. It uh, resists corrosion and it also makes the water drop off better. So on a coil like 100% off that air where you're just pouring water off the coil, it's a real good, uh, real good option. The, um, we're using an airfoil fan, a Kruger fan. Um, it's internally isolated, 
So the whole fan assembly uh, is on a set of uh, spring isolators, and there's a um, there's a, a vinyl rubber uh, duct connector, flexible canvas connector to the cabinet. So the whole fan can shake loose. Now for shipment, it's locked in right now, so I can't shake it. But otherwise, if that shipment was off there, I'd be able to shake it, and you'd see the whole fan assembly float. Um, this year we added uh, external lube lines so that the lube is run all the way over to the outside door and we had a viewpoint so that if somebody wants to see if the fan's spinning in the right direction, is the bolt flapping, they can actually view that right through that access door that's uh, covered up for painting right now. And then on this particular unit, we're doing a horizontal discharge. So we just come out, and then this will be the supply duct going out to the building. <laughs>